Hi guys, if you're ask me today what you like in life, then I say my what ifs. <laughs> I've automated the Arch Linux LS ISO, so in short, the AA ISO, right? Arch Linux combined with the Pico's uh, idea of uh, scripting. I've made some adaptations, small things like LS. Step one, get LS installed. So step one is make your choices. Uh, the choices are on GitHub. They're collected X4, ButterFS, RiceFS. You make your own GitHub. All the settings are downloaded and applied. Basically, I can enjoy the, the sun. That's now shining in Belgium and come back. I have to wait three minutes. That's it. And even less, right? So two minutes, 50 seconds. The, rec the record is now two minutes and 16 seconds and you have your XFCE. So phase one is go install the OS, okay? Then we reboot. Then we go get the Nemesis uh, repo. And we used to have the go get the keys and the repos. What I've done, I've added inside the Nemesis repo in the sorry the Nemesis script, Arclix Nemesis scripts. I've added a line. If you are on Arch, go get the repo, go get the keys from Arclix. And if not, it just skips. So if we're on Arclix, it will just install the rest of the software if you follow the InSync, Spotify, and the rest. But if it's on Arch, it will do this. If it's on Plasma, it will do that. If it's on LeftWM, it will do that. If it's on i3, that's what I've been doing this morning as well. If on i3, get Alex appearance, get the configuration of i3 and such more. So the end result is again an Arcalix. There were always people saying, isn't there a way to install Arch Linux without Calamaris? This is it. The Arch way, the Arch installation script, and this one, the AA ISO. But you're in control. You can create your own personal Arch Linux ISO with the scripts from Pico. All you need is a free GitHub account and two repos, one to test, which I call Alice Dev, and another one that's just Alice that you know that's working and you keep track of the code that comes from Pico and change along if you want right if you've got time and otherwise so just use the Alice this time it's 2 minutes 40 seconds do you see it there more to the bottom 2 minutes 40 seconds and then we reboot sudo reboot so step 1 go install the operating system let's have a look at a virgin look of Arch. You can stop here. And you got LightYM, beautiful look. And you got XFC, beautiful look. Or I keep going with my own personal get nemesis on Arch script. As a result, you'll have data and in here, Arcanlex nemesis, open the folder. So there it is, right mouse click, open terminal. And this is the change, rather than going to arclix.info and get the ASA, so the spices application, we just say zero. And in the code, so have a look, it's very interesting to see here in number 100, and also the one in 900, both of them contain all your needs, right? All your switches to think if on plasma then do this if on that if that file is existing then do this etc etc you can elaborate on the theme use arclix nemesis as blue print and say okay that's a good approach i'll do this and i'll change that and then you make your own and you have your arch linux iso that's always up to date right just to build away doesn't take that long. I think I closed the window, but building isn't, isn't long. I mean, it's 
not more than 400 packages or less than 400 packages, I think, uh, building Arch Linux ISO. And Alice is just scripting, so a few kilobytes. And it's not on your future system, it's just on the live DVD. And this is amazing, right? You, every single time, every single install, I've done maybe six, seven installations this morning. Uh, XFCE, three times I3, so that's perfected. Uh, some plasmas, uh, a few XFCEs. So sure, uh, each time, you do an install and each time you run the nemesis script it will change it will improve because then the brain says oh what if what if what if right and this uh, i always joke about it but i have a few monkeys in my head and they always start shouting with enthusiasm what if i do this whatever that right and that's that's great it's that's that's why i'm on this project right improving learning 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 that's why we're here last time in another video i said we're installing VirtualBox on VirtualBox. And I told you, it's actually easy to tell if you're in VirtualBox, don't install VirtualBox. So that's in there already. It's, that's all, all, it's all there. The, the guidelines, the template, you reuse the code, reuse the thinking and make your own Arnix Nemesis script. Let's pause till everything is installed. And then suddenly it ends, right? So I've made all kinds of choices. Take a look at all the code that's in there. You can make in no time. And I was thinking about minutes, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. You have an operating system the way you like it with the software, you like it and remove the stuff you don't like, right? So there we go. What do I boot into? That's one thing I need to check. So each time yeah, you see something red, an error or anything, conflicting file, say, okay, we need to get remove this in order for Pac-Man to install that. And that's the reasoning, that's chronology, chronologically what you should do to get things done right. And this is Variety giving you the wallpaper. I've never chosen this wallpaper. Old N from Nico, right? Beautiful wallpapers coming from Wallhaven. And who's doing that? Well, this little guy, right? Whoops, it's not there. A variety is going to take care of that. Oh, here he is. So Variety is going to and make sure that you have Wallhaven Abstract or Wallhaven Top List or Wallhaven Random. So choices. And this is your look. And you say, huh? Right, this is Arch. Welcome to Arch Linux. <laughs> Enjoy.